the Wisconsin State Fair has run in West Dallas, right outside of Milwaukee since 1892. State fairs are the perfect place to find crazy and wacky foods. It's chock full of deep fried, delicious goofiness. On this video, I'll take you around the state fair through my camera lens. So come along with me and explore the Wisconsin State Fair, my 11 favorite days of the summer. The Sporkies is the Wisconsin State Fair's annual food competition. Held since 2013, a panel of judges voted on the best food, their first, second, and third place winners, and they recognized food that were finalists. If you want to find the craziest food at the State Fair, look for the yellow fork outside of the stand. Those are the Sporkies. With that being said, the first stop is Gertrude's Pretzels, where I get the first place Sporkies winner, the Pino Pretzel Popper Brat. A jalapeno cheddar brat wrapped in a soft pretzel, topped with jalapenos and cream cheese sauce. And the first thing I'm doing is first place of the Sporkies. This is the pino pepper popper pretzel brat. Tongue twister and a half. I, I probably botch it. Here, here it is on the bottom because it, it's a tongue twister. It's too many things to say. I, I, I just want to eat. All right. So that's a stadium brat. You have some heat from the jalapeno, the pretzel itself is really good. Ton of flavors, depth, profile. I dig it. Again, this pretzel with the jalapeno and the cheese sauce. That's legit. Damn, stadium brat. My favorite type of brats. Now it's cooked really well. Look at that. Look at all that. Look at that. Kind of sound like a happy feet. Look at that. There's the, the cheese inside of that brat. But plus you add the pretzel and the jalapeno. It's fantastic. There's a bunch of people deadlifting 175 there. I'm going to go there. I'm going to wreck it because it, 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 it's for the gains. Except for the lights this time. Bam. Th th this is it. Th that's, that's number one. Uno. Done with here at the fair. The next stop is at the Bud Pavilion, where your boy got a Sporky's finalist, the Hot Cheetos Chicken on a Stick. This is chicken fried in hot Cheetos dust, topped with Chipotle ranch sauce, and includes top secret seasoning. So right here is the flaming Hot Cheetos Chicken on a Stick. This is a Sporky's finalist, and the homeboy's here too. Say what up, his will be water. He got a Fiesta burger, that's also Sporky's finalist. Put that bad boy up. Look at that. Here we go. Flaming hot.
Cheetos chicken on a stick. There's a lot of tongue twisters this year at the state fair, so bear with me. This is delicious. It's a fresh chicken tender, because look at how good that chicken is. The dusting from the hot Cheetos is awesome. Bam. And, and this chipotle lime sauce. This thing. How'd this not win a top three spot in the sport is beyond me? This thing is delicious. You feel though anything that finalizes is gonna be pretty good regardless. Yes, I agree. Like you said, anything that places finalists, it, it's still recognized. But this thing is fantastic, man. Oh my goodness. The chicken is awesome. Poke the camera. Not actually gonna do that. Legit. I, I'm getting to the end of this bad boy. It, it looks like a lollipop. It, it, is this the lollipop Lil Wayne was talking about in that song? Lollipop. No. No. He said no. Anyways, I'm, I'm at the end of it. Thumbs up. Next up for me is at Tropics, where I get yet another Sporky's finalist. These are the Surf and Turf Sliders. Pulled pork and coconut shrimp, tropical slaw, pineapple mango salsa, and jalapeno aioli. All right, so here are the Surf and Turf Sliders from Tropics. Man, look at that. If the shrimp, the tropical slaw, and a bed of kettle chips, and the pork. Bam, look at that. That tropical slaw is really sweet. The shrimp is fantastic. I don't have much pork on this one. In fact, I don't think there's any. <laughs> I'll get on the next one. But the shrimp is fantastic. The tropical slaw is sweetness, and you have the Hawaiian roll right here, which is also sweet. Bam! There you go. You got the pork in this one, the pineapple slaw, but a tropical slaw and some pineapple salsa, and, and, and there's a shrimp. This is out of bounds good. The pulled pork, it's juicy. It's tender. Of course, the shrimp is awesome. And you also have some jalapeno aioli with it. A bunch of flavors, a bunch of flavor. Bam. I demolished the surf and turf sliders. But let's find something else because I'm starving. You, you like how I shook that? I'm starving. Lakefront Brewery Beer Garden is up next, where I got another Sporky's finalist, Black Bean Burrito Balls. Black beans and sweet corn includes cheese and spices and breaded with cheese curls and nacho cheese chips. Here are my black bean burrito balls, people. But let's dig into these and it has this chili lime sauce. I'm game. Bam. Ooh, look at that. That's corn, beans, all breaded with hot chipped breading. I'm gonna dip it into the sauce. Bam. Uh -huh. I'm a fool. Uh, it's an awesome fire. Check this out, this one. Mm. I'll be right back. So, that I recovered. My mouth cooled off. And like, when it took me 20 minutes to, after I stopped deadlifting for me to cool off, th there's a ton of flavor here. Bam. The corn, the beans, and the breading for these balls. Phenomenal. This chili lime sauce. Phenomenal. This is another Sporky's finalist. Bam. Look at that. You can't tell me that I don't look good. And then it all goes for the games. Bam. Just like that. That little explosion in the corner. That's what it goes for. So I got one more stop. Something sweet. Something cool on a hot day at the fair. Let's get to it. We go into the Expo Center for our final stop where we arrive at Freeze's Candy Shop where we get the Sporty's third place Brandy Old Fashioned S'more on a Stick. Here you get sweetness from the Brandy Old Fashioned, 
and is topped with a dried orange and cherry garnish. Here's my old fashioned brandy s'more on a stick. Ignore the fact there's a bite out of it. We got the fluff right here, the graham cracker, got the drizzle in here. There's an orange garnish, a cherry garnish. That orange garnish on this thing, it's no longer pineapple on pizza. Do orange garnishes go in s'mores? The answer is yes. Some of the cherry garnish. The, the cherries don't taste out of place with it. Was it the cordial cherries? All gone. So, that's five things I ate. Five. It, it, it's been a fun journey around the Wisconsin State Fair. I loved all five of my stops, foodies, but if I had to pick one favorite thing that I ate, it was definitely those surf and turf sliders from Tropics. A boatload of flavor, the sweetness and spiciness, that was tremendous. That will do it, foodies. I hope you enjoyed my trip through the Wisconsin State Fair. Social media and all that is in the description down below. What is your favorite thing about the State Fair? Of everything I ate today, what looked the best to you? Let me know down below. You never know where I'll end up next, so stay tuned.